Hello, this is a note about displaying ASCAT wind data in OpenCPN, um, which is effectively a demonstration of um, part of an article we have on the process of setting this up, which I'll, I'll show you in a moment. But first, this is just to show how, how this can end up looking. We're using the WeatherFAX plugin that's here, and then you would say retrieve from the internet. And then when we have this set up, I have just added uh, these two files, these, uh, these ASCAT files manually. I'll show you what they are in a moment. Um, but this is the way they look. Here, say ASCAT B, uh, ASCAT B for Cape Cod. And this is uh, as the ascending pass with satellite going up the Earth and descending coming back down the Earth. And so that would look like that. I highlight that and then I hit uh, selected. Uh, oh, no, I don't. I don't want to use ex See, we have to we have to update these because they there we get new data every um, well four times a day. I have to come back and explain that the uh, we've made some files that make it very easy to know when we're going to get data. For example, I'm in this area we're calling Cape Cod, and if I go here. Let's see, here's the article online that explains the process, and here's our graphic in index, and here's the area called Cape Cod. And the Cape Cod's gonna get new data in this region, uh, at about 1 o'clock, uh, 1.25 and 1435 UTC, in each case plus or minus an hour. And there's two satellites, METOP a, a B and C. So we, on the average, would get four sets of new data. They come in pairs. Two will be around uh, 01 o'clock UTC, valid time, and two will be 1400 uh, plus or minus an hour valid time, UTC. And so this one o'clock data, the latest, now we can think through that a minute. We, one, one of the things we want to use this data for is to compare with a numerical model forecast. We can download, and I think I have done that, downloaded the uh, 12 o'clock uh, forecast, the GFS forecast, so we can compare that. I've not done it yet, so uh, we're going to compare then the GFS forecast to this data. Okay, so that is the Cape Cod region, and then that would be, uh, so that's one of the, for this region, we would have four things we would have to look at to see what's the, what's the best data. So here's one at 149, that is Cape Cod B ascending. Now let's look at it coming back down the earth this way. And you see, and you see already received 180 minutes ago. Use existing data, no. So you always want to update it. So this is one that's actually 1400. Now that's 1400. What time is it? That's the newer data. Oh, that's 1400. That's 1400. That's actually newer. That's the one we should use, 1400. That's only two hours after the 12, 12 o'clock run. So there should be one more 1400 data. So that's, that's an ASCAP B. Uh, so let's go to C and just stay in the same range. K, uh, this is C and, um, and when was this? This was, um, this was, was this descending? We can, you can look at the top here, this is B descending. So let's take C descending, see what it looks like. Selected, uh, use existing, no. We want to get new data. And so this is a 1400 here. So these are the two we can look at really here for the moment. We've got B and C descending. Here's the B descending. No, that's the wrong one. Let's get, can I delete that? Um, just to get that out of the system. Delete. No, I have to just keep in track what I'm doing. So here is B descending, that's four o'clock, and then here's C descending. So these are the two. Now we could look at those together. I hold the control key down. Yeah. Um, no, no, let's see. If I hold the control key down, 
B and C. Oh, B and C descend. That's just one. Uh, okay. So that's both of them. They kind of get in each other's way. So we'd have to look at them individually. But okay. So that's the way you can see this data. And then um, let just for the sake, that's 1,400. Let me go back here now to this GRIB file. And... Um, um, it's gone over the top of things here. Okay, let me come up here, move some of this stuff away. All right, so what do we got here? Our data is 1458. So we would have to set this to, uh, and, and that's 1458. And let me just double check up here. Uh, this at the top. This was collected at 20 hundred. So yeah, that's today's data. That's today's data. And so you would go here, um, 14, 1400. Now I think there's a way here I can set the exact time. Ah, bummer. I should have figured that out first, that I can set the exact time I want it. 1458, but I forget how to do it now. But anyway, if we look at just 14, I'm comparing now a model run that's valid at, uh, well, wait a minute, 1400. And this is, oh no, let me go to 1500. 1500. And this is at 1458. So you see, now what we're trying to do is compare the model forecast with what the uh, what the real wind was. And in this case, look, it's pretty good. Here you see a model, this is, oh, that's only reading out to the whole degree, that's okay. So this says this is 18 knots, and this, the color code, the way you read this, and again, we have tons of videos on the use of this. I just wanna show it, uh, the use in, uh, in uh, open CPN, and here's this color code is really very good. The green, the blue turns to green at exactly 15, the green turns to orange at exactly 20. That's usually a valuable thing here. So this is right at uh, going to 20, and you see the forecast has got, uh, the forecast has got in this region, uh, if I look up here, about 17 or 18 knots and so forth. So that's the way that you would compare the model forecast to see if the, if the model's any good. You see here, there's a forecast is going light. It's got little light patches in here, and sure enough, the real wind is down to 11. It looks like the direction, there's just kind of like a little hole right in here with the wind going a little bit different directions. Anyway, so that's the way, that's the way you can see the data in here. And now the, this is going to be in an article, linked from in an article that shows how you set this up. Also with the request to maybe get some help from the uh, OpenCPN programmers to automate the rest of the uh, regions that we've made.